Thomas, who joins us every Tuesday and every Thursday. Good morning, Tony. Hey, McGraw, how are you? Great. Uh, postscript to your last uh, segment here, the uh, city attorney for Ferguson, who you called out, resigned after you called her out. She, she did. She, uh, Stephanie Carr stepped down Monday, um, and uh, I think that's a, uh, a good move for the city of Ferguson and a good move for uh, her private law firm, which is probably awfully tired of having their name in the paper over and over again every time she loses a case she never should have brought. All right, let's move on to the next one you're causing trouble with. This time you're picking on the Hill. What's going on in the Hill? Well, you know, there's an interesting conflict going on there, and, and apparently it's been going on for decades, and it's something that some of the residents uh, brought to my attention. There is a large industrial property on the east side of the hill. Uh, it, it's a, a, an old Cohen, Owens Corning uh, uh, industrial plant. used to be the Magic Chef plant. Uh, it's owned by a gentleman named Bob Flynn, and it's been uh, vacant for decades now and uh it is it, it is an 11 acre industrial building that it's had fires it has broken windows and, and graffiti and it's just it's a nuisance and a hazard in one of the most iconic neighborhoods in this city and what's happened is over the past couple of decades various people have proposed to develop that property it's a great piece of property it's 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 Right off of King's Highway, it's adjacent to, uh, you know, the, the, the residential part of the hill where all the restaurants and everything are. And uh, a lot of the residents want to see it developed, but there is a, a, a couple of conflict points. First of all, some of the older residents are really worried about who might come in um, and whether or not low-income folks or people different than them are going to come in. That's, that's sort of an underlying concern. Uh, and then you have the alderman, Joe Vollmer, uh, and the pastor of the Catholic Church there, St. Ambrose, uh, Monsignor Vincent Bobmarito, who hold a, a tremendous amount of power, some people say too much power, over what happens in that neighborhood. And the property needs to be rezoned uh, in order for something to get approved, and that means nothing is going to get approved without the alderman signing off on it. And there are some people who believe that the alderman has been blocking real positive economic development opportunities in that property. Well, now there's a new proposal. Doug Sansone, local developer, uh, and, and uh, a partner company of his in, in uh, Chicago are proposing uh, a senior living facility, uh, some high-end luxury apartments that they think will primarily go to, like, uh, Wash U grad students because... They'll have easy access to the to the medical campus right. there, uh, and some uh, uh, single family homes uh, in the area that would that would most directly connect to the neighborhood. And they made a proposal to the Hill Neighborhood Group uh, a week ago on Wednesday, and a lot of folks I talked to really like it, and they they just want to see something happen there. They want to see that old industrial building torn down. And uh, it'll be interesting to watch because um, uh, th th there were still some folks who thought that it was just they're worried about apartments coming in and, and strangers coming into this old, iconic neighborhood and changing its flavor. And it's it's a bit of an old meets new conflict. Yeah. So the building, if 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 I'm thinking of this right, is right next to the viaduct, right next to Ragazzi's. It's a big white. It is. It's a big you giant Ragazzi's on the outdoor patio right staring at this big white brick building that's the building <laughs> right yeah and they're redoing that that viaduct so it's going to be a nice brand new viaduct and yeah. what, what a great way and and that's 11 i mean imagine redeveloping 11 acres right there you could do a lot of good things the tax base and everything else with that 11 acres oh it's it's a it's a big property and it's really well located and um uh, one of the people I talked to had tried to develop it previously and felt like the alderman got in the way. Um, I talked to the alderman the other night, Joe Vollmer, and you know he says he wants to see something developed there too. He just wants to make sure that the neighborhood's happy with it. So, you know, it's all politics are local, and this is a real local thing. But it was really interesting being at the neighborhood meeting. It was in the cafeteria of, of the St. Ambrose cafeteria uh, uh, or St. Ambrose School, and this is a neighbor, and um, 
and there's a, an interesting mix of old versus young. Um, but, but everybody there cares about their neighborhood in some capacity. There's just a bit of a conflict over what they want to see happen. Yeah, you know, it's a good point. It's a mix of old and young, but I think uh, it is probably, you know, that along with Florissant is probably the most tight-knit community out there. Oh, it's, it was, it's very tight-knit, and, and that's what was fun about, you know, for me, I, I haven't spent a whole lot of time in the Hill, and so over the last couple of weeks, I, I, I went down there a couple times and met a lot of people, and, and uh, it really is a beautiful neighborhood and uh, a, a, a great place for people to raise families and, and, and everything else, but it's, it's amazing to know that this is one of the neighborhoods that the city is known for, and yet it's got this big, huge eyesore that's been there for a couple of decades, and, and, and the neighborhood wants it gone. Yeah. Uh, on a side note, there was a great restaurant, I guess it would be just east of uh, Ragazzi's. It was sort of, uh, I don't want to say underneath the viaduct, but it was called Space, and it had a whole bunch of great old radios. It was a great little local bar. But anyway, that's a side note. All right, Tony. Old radios. It, it, <laughs> I, I can imagine why you might like it. All right, Tony. Uh, we can read all your stuff. STLtoday.com. The column on the hill is is online uh, as well. Thanks for, for checking in. Tony Messenger here on the Thanks Big 550. You, you, you got it. Big 550 here. KTRS. We'll do numbers. We'll do that next.